Contractor John and today we're going to be changing an electrical receptacle or an outlet. The first thing you want to do when you're doing anything with electric is you want to make sure you shut your power off. So you locate your electrical panel inside your home and you come in here and hopefully it's marked and if it's not you need to just find out which breaker it is. Okay now that we have our power turned off at the panel we want to make sure so we insert our tester in here and make sure and we are off. The buzzing you're hearing is just showing me that it has continuity still. So. So that's off, okay? Now we take our regular screwdriver, remove the plate. Now whenever you're, you're working with electric, even though you know you shut it off, always treat it as if it was live, okay? You may have to switch to a Phillips to remove the screws from the receptacle itself, okay? And you'll notice there's screws on the top of the receptacle on the bottom. Okay, you never want to grab it from there. Even though we know it's off, you want to always treat it like it's live. So grab from the tabs and pull it out. Okay? Now, you'll see on the, on the receptacle, you've got red wires and you've got white wires. Okay? The white wires are always the neutral wire and they go on the silver or the light colored screw. And the hot wire could be red, could be black, could be blue goes on the darker color of the brass one. So again, you want to remove the hot one, and you remove the hot wire first, okay? In this instance, they just looped it because they've got the hot running through to another, another device somewhere. And we unscrew. And same thing with the neutral. They've got it wired in series to another receptacle. And you just pull that off, okay? Now, on, on the outlet, as I said before, you've got light colored screws, the silver ones are your neutral, and your dark ones are for your hot wire, okay? Now, we're using conduit in this application, which is the metal tubing, the metal raceway that the wire goes in. If this was a Romex installation, you'd have a bare copper wire and that would go to the ground, okay? But in this instance, we're not, okay? So, we're gonna reinstall this outlet now. The one thing I want to show you, if the camera can zoom in, it may be kind of hard to see, but right here, where on the tip of the screwdriver, there's a little tab, and I don't know the best angle here, this little tab right here, okay, I'll give it another, another shot right there, maybe you can see it right there. That tab connects these two screws. Let's say you wanted to have one side of this outlet switched, operated by a switch. Say you've got a lamp plugged in here, you come into a room, you hit a switch, you want the lamp to go on. You take a pair of your needle nose or diagonal cutters on that tab, and you twist it and you break that tab. And what that does is it separates the, the, the hot wires between those two screws. So now you'll have to have one hot wire on one side that makes that receptacle side live all the time, and then another wire that comes from the switch, a switch light, to the other screw. And that'll, that'll operate just half of the outlet, okay? So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna hook this back up. Now remember, you, you hook your neutral up first. So we're gonna take it, we're gonna put our, our white wire, our neutral wire, around the screw. We take our needle nose and we give it a little pinch so it stays tight around that screw, making sure that when the screw gets tightened, that the insulation is not under the screw. That's real important. Okay, you want to make sure that the screw is going to come in, in total contact with the copper wire and not with the insulation. So we're going to tighten that up, and you need to tighten these snug. Okay, and again. Notice how I'm holding the receptacle, I'm not touching the screws. All right, turn it around, okay? Now we're gonna do the same thing on this side. We're gonna take our wire, we're gonna hook it on there, and then we're gonna give it a little pinch, and then we're gonna tighten it right back up. Okay? And then we're going to fold the wires back in the box. And line up our 
screws. Now, some people like to put electrical tape across the screws. I personally don't like to do that. If you've got your power off, then it shouldn't be a problem. If you're working with it live, then I would suggest that you do take the electrical tape and tape up across around the receptacle. screw this back in. Now you'll notice when you're screwing it in that the, the screws are in, are in the holes there and they're in the slots which will allow you to slide this receptacle up and down a little bit. So let's just say the box is a little crooked or whatever you can compensate for that by sliding this up or down. But to begin with you want to put it in the middle. Okay. And then put your cutter plate back on. And there you have it. You just change the outlet. This is Contractor John saying if you have any questions or comments, you go to contractorjohn.com, drop me a line, ask me a question, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Have a blessed day.